Hello, hello, my beautiful ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the latest entertainment news in Nigeria, where we talk about all of your trending celebrities across Africa and the rest of the world that are keeping the headline on lockdown. And today, we have some headlines trending for you. So stay with me to the end of this podcast episode as you and I will bridge through all of that gradually. But first, let's take a look at the highlights of today's talking point, shall we? The number one on our list is P Square, Mr. P, who is currently sick. And number two on this list is Bonoboy, who just dropped that monster jam with Whiskey. And the number three talking point of this episode it's Simi and Adekunle Gold. It's Simi and Adekunle Gold who, who currently stole the headline with the federal, uh, the federal government cut. Having said that, stay with me. Welcome to another episode of the Short Missalip Entertainment L E N N podcast. If this is your first time here, please take the time out to smash that subscribe button, give so give us a thumbs up, and you know leave a comment in the description box. Sorry, in the comment section box below, because this way I love that bromance with you, where you get to like air your opinion, your thoughts. However conflicting it may be, I just want to hear it because you know it's about communication, it's about engagement. So please drop a comment in the comment in the comment box below, and hopefully. Your like, your subscription will help us grow. And as we grow together, we'll continue to serve you better. Having said that, come, let's dive right into the details, shall we? In the early hours of today, you know, Mr. P made this post on his Instagram channel, which shows that he's currently sick. And as a result of being bedridden, he won't be able, uh, sorry, peace, the Peace Quest show won't be able to happen on the 18th. This means the show has been, you know, pushed forward to on the 25th of December. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, on the 25th of December. And that's the dusk Xmas day where everyone will be ball playing and, you know, eating lots of rice because let's be realistic. You know, I remember, you know, when it, there, there was this thing I usually do, uh, sorry, me and my friends would usually do, you know, back then. I, now that I think about it, it's crazy. But let me just tell you, let but let me just tell you a quick story of, of what we usually do on Christmas Day. You see, myself and my friends, you know, we will wake up every morning and we'll carry this spoon in our pocket. And you, you know what we do with those spoon? We start going from door post to door post, from door post to door post in the community I come from. And, you know, whoever has rice, whatever food they have, but mostly we we'll carry those spoon because basically, basically for rice so when we when we come we we show you your spoon and we are knocking we don't even have to say anything you already understand <laughs> you know why we're at your gate in the first place and you know for for uh, you know for 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 the larger part of you know doing all of those things it was really fun and you know, a lot of people opened door opened your door to us to come eat rice and all of this things well these are this Though, you know, it's been a long time. It's a long time ago, but, you know, the memories is fun and beautiful. I remember I remember the joy on the faces of the people that would knock on their doors. They were, they were just happy and they received us. They, they, you know, they gave us those, that treat. And that tells you that, look, Xmas is a period of sharing love and, <laughs> you know, giving love in return but don't be like us don't be like us because we're really terrible you know we do it but it was really really for fun and we enjoyed it at least for the time it lasted before growing that particular stage i haven't said that let's let let's 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 um let, let's go back to you know peace where we also saw we also saw rude boy rude boy um rude boy also made the same post on his instagram channel also telling us that you know the show isn't going to happen on the 18th because of uh mr p who is currently sick and which boy took to the to 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 his instagram account you know posted a, a video where they were rehearsing you know for that comeback and it was as a result of that rehearsal that actually broke down mr p who, who who is currently you know receiving treatments after such you know such 
you know, um, Riazas that, that took a toll on him. Having said that, quickly, let's transition to Bonaboy and Whiskey Odogu and Starboy. You know, it's always fun to see, you know, two Afrobeat superstars, you know, collaborate to, to give us that monster jam that, you know, everyone is always waiting for. But I bet the, the, the most anticipated song the, the most anticipated collaboration anyone could be asking for would be a whiskey and Davido collaboration because to, largely to some extent they are kind of like the two biggest stars in Africa although you could you, you sorry in Nigeria but also in Africa though but you you know you can tr you could throw Bonaboy into the mix because Bonaboy has been phenomenal this past three years he has been amazing but I, I feel like I always take them another off, you know, uh, Whiskey, David or Lamide, Bonaboy to a savage. But let me know what you think about this order in the comment section below. And please don't be mad. That's just how I arrange mine. You, you, you could also do your arrangement and, you know, leave it in the comment section below. And, you know, whatever it is, and just tell me why you, you, your reason for actually placing for, 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 for your arrangement in the particular order for which it came. But regardless of the arrangement, these guys have been amazing. They've been giving us it back to back, and it's just beautiful. Although, if you go on Twitter, Twitter is a war zone because, because of standship and all of that. Having said that, you know, Bonaboy released Ballon de Hall featuring Whiskey, which is going crazy. Billboard, you know, tweeted about it. Rolling Stone tweeted about it. And Atlantic Record also tweeted about it. Remember, um, um, Bonaboy is currently signed to Atlantic Records. Yeah, yeah, Bonaboy is currently signed to Atlantic Records. And Atlantic Records knows how to do PR, honestly. Atlantic Records knows how to do PR. To get Bonaboy on Billboard, for B to get Billboard to tweet about Bonaboy, and Spotify to tweet about Bonaboy, Rolling Stone to tweet about Bonaboy, that shows you that, look, Atlantic Records knows their PR game and it's just beautiful having said that look if you haven't listened to to whiskey and uh to Bonaboy and whiskey Ballon d'Or well you you're missing something because there is definitely there's definitely a sound there for you to for you to listen to and well and I feel like you know largely to some extent it's that it's another Bonaboy's attempt to like you know throw a subtle shade at David o with, with the lyrical lines you you i just want you to listen to it and make and, and tell me what you think about the one lay me but one lay me but something goes something like that though but and i feel like if you interpret that if you interpret that um that that Yoruba term it's something like you know the, uh, you know that they, they, they are behind chasing after me you know I, I don't know, but let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And I feel like it's it's a subtle jab towards Davido because you and I know that uh, Bonaboy and Davido they are currently beefing. Even though I think Bonaboy is doing the more, is doing more of the beefing of Davido because he also like you. Know, we saw him, you know, at the whole two arena, you know, took another jab at Davido with the line from Whiskey Fit Bonaboy Ginger, which is I know be, I I know be I know be Babalao. I just be singer, which is another job at Davido for during um, during twenty during the, uh, for 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 posting that pics in 2019 where he where he where if where uh, whisk uh, sorry where Davido and whiskey was Photoshop as Baba Lau and Davido Ta and Davido you know captioned that post like um, two of the greatest Africans sorry two of the greatest musicians in africa and bonaboy bonaboy wasn't really wasn't really a fan of the tweet he, he quickly took to his instagram um, profile and he said something like you know we all know that your father ca uh, you cannot sing so as a result of that your father bought you know the the, the plane feed so you can so you can you know play ball but and you know uh while ballon de Hall, it's whiskey and um, Bonaboy coming together to celebrate their achievement. I feel like it's also, I don't know, but you, you can quote me though. I feel like it's also a jab, you know, at David Doe. And that's two powerhouses, you know, coming together to like throw subtle like beef 
at Davido, and, and <laughs> that's just crazy. But we'll see how that goes. Go, go. I, 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 you know, we are going to see, you know, what turn that takes. But hopefully, 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 you know, we don't get a Davido reply, and you know, and and this would just fall on deaf ears. But I love beef so long as it stays on the music. It has to stay strictly on the music. And Bonoboy, Boy, I feel like if we go back to Ebuka and uh davido's interview where we are where davido said bonaboy is actually teaming up with whiskey to to go against him and you know when when we fast forward a couple of months maybe a year later we're actually seeing that with the two records that whiskey and bonaboy has you know um uh, dropped already or released already i don't know but this this may be my own take on everything i feel like let me know what what you make of it also in the comment section below because i'm dying to hear your thoughts on that as well having said that quickly do do go go to apple music spotify whatever channel you use in streaming the songs and stream those songs and let's let's not forget you know whiskey and bonaboy alongside david do are like some of the best musicians in Africa and the richest in the continent as well. I made a post on the Sharp Muslim on sharpmuslim.com and it was on the top of top 50 richest musicians in Nigeria as well as the top 50 richest musicians in Africa alongside um, the top 50 best musicians the top 50 best musicians in Africa as a whole i feel like i will drop a link in the description box below you can check out those articles and it, it's I, I think it's going to make for a very interesting read up just just check it out having said that quickly let's transition to see me and i take only good you know this these guys have that beautiful love story where that I personally, personally admire because these guys, these guys, you know, Adekule God is is a musical genius. See me with that vocal, man, she is she is beautiful. If you haven't streamed my last song, our last, our last song is so bad, featuring Joe Boy. You need to check that song out. It's, it was a beauty. It was a beauty. It was a beauty, and you will love it. You can also stream it on Apple Music, Spotify, and um, maybe Audio Mac. I guess. Having said that, you know, so the early hours of today. Uh, Simi and Adekule Good reacted to a post made by Daniel Asaigo in respect to um, uh, the federal government court, you know, having to having a part to play in marriage in marriage certification, and you know the local government in in Lagos is is is, is raising a lawsuit, which which says that the, the, the federal gov government court does or the federal court does not have any rights or uh, in that regard when it comes to marriage certifications and here is here is a screenshot of of um simi's reaction to <laughs> to what uh the whole suit is all about and you know according to simi he, he made a claim he is asking if his marriage to Adekule Good is illegal. And here is what Adekule Good had to reply to Simi's tweet. And Adekule Good said, Look, I'm all I'm how for those guys refunding our money. <laughs> Which is funny. You know, we've always known Adekule Good and Simi to always be these beautiful souls. And you know, their marriage seems more like a match made in heaven than reality, to be honest with you. Because the way they complement each other, the way they stick out for each other, it's what husband and wife and it's what couples do. And I admire both of them so, so much because um, not only they are beautiful, that they are these perfect, beautiful couples, they, they also make great music. And I'm half for great music, honestly. I'm half for great music. I love, you know, listening to great music. Although I favor, I favor more of blues, and 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 uh, uh, um, um, uh, more of a fan of P Square, but I, generally I listen to every every song out there because I enjoy good good and quality songs. I haven't said that you know that will be hard for this um, episode of the latest entertainment news in Nigeria episode nine. You know it's over to you now. Do you think P Square? Should this question has shifted, you know, the date of their comeback performance. And what do you, th what do you also think about, you know, um, Bonaboy fit whiskey, you know, Ballon d'Or being a jab at Davido, and as well, 
leave a comment in the comment section below because you know i want to hear your thoughts i want to hear your opinion no matter how you know how conflicting it is or how contrasting it is i still want to hear it because i believe that look we we all have an opinion so long as the so long as the internet is concerned and i love to hear different points of view on any particular issue so having said that please like this video share it you know click on that subscribe button because all of this helps the youtube algorithm push our videos to more viewers to more people which will help us grow and as we grow we also continue to give you beautiful beautiful and amazing content having said that till i come your way again please stay safe because without you there will be no short missile of entertainment tv and compliment la season